I believe this is the first Redux I've ever done where I reviewed something, gave it a bad review, and I review it again and give it a favorable review. Uh, I thought there was something wrong with that pair, but it was just, it was, that was it. I had to review what I got. Sennheiser 3D Pros. The first pair I reviewed, if you want to go watch the original from God knows how long ago, over a year ago, uh, had no low end, none. And these are just listening to some Prodigy, and they have low end. So, kudos to Sennheiser for not actually being as shitty as I thought you were and being better. Look how nice and flat. It's so advanced. Now, I owned the 380 Pros for nine years and didn't own them for nine years. That was all I used for nine years. Like, as soon as I got out of, like, was it high school? Just forever. I had them forever. Changed the pads and twice, headband once. Forever. The cat was chewing through this bit. It was all stiff. These are not built as well. I do not think these will last nine years. Just point that right out. I'm just feeling this. It's, just... it's hard to judge. It's hard to judge if they're going to last. They are, aren't as robust. They're way lighter. These are light. And that lightness means, you know, thinner plastic. Feels doesn't feel like as good a plastic as was used in the 280s. Uh, the wire is attachable, if you recall. How shitty! Fucking Sennheiser cunts! I mean, come on. Come on, guy. This is, this is just for them to resell a cable if you fuck this one up. This has nothing to do with getting a shorter one or... Because look at that proprietary piece of crap. Two and a half millimeter stereo on a 90 with like a giant chunk of the headphone that slides in this little rail so that you can't pull it out that way. So yeah, if you need to change, if you break the wire, contact Sennheiser. They're a professional company. They'll sell you another wire. The exact same wire. Uh, now if you look, this side doesn't have anything in it. But this side... Because of that, there's actually physically a bump out there and there that isn't on this side. Just, just, just pointing that out. Pointing that out. I mean, if I squeeze it like this, from where that is to the back of this is a quarter inch, maybe a little more. So, oof, there is, these are not high profile closed cans. These are not Mad Dogs or Alpha Primes. These are very thin. And they have the closed can sound, which I will describe for you now, because usually headphones with a closed can sound aren't very good. And what that means is, like, things attack you, because you put them on, and they're, they're, they seal out sound. They don't seal out as well as the 280 Pros did. And they don't, don't seal out as well as the Brainwaves HM9s do. Because those things are just retarded. But um, they, get you, they get you closed off. And then sounds that would normally be like okay on normal headphones are amplified because it's a seashell effect. It's a seashell effect, you know. So highs in this have to be really cautious with them or they'll kill you. The low end is actually pretty damn good considering there's no, there's just nothing here. This is so, if there wasn't pad and then this space around this pad, these headphones would be that thick. Ridiculously non-existent. So I don't even know how they're getting them to work. Never mind sounding alright. They're neutral. If I had to pick these or M50s and taken these. They are very clampy. Their clamp is... This is my test where I usually do that. But they're so light and so clampy that nothing happens it looks like something's wrong like these should like expand more and then be straight like that and they aren't i have to put a lot of force to make that happen so hours of listening with them i i can't see it i did it with the 280s and the 280s are pretty clampy but the 280s eventually loosened up these are like designed to just like uh fuck fuck your ears and your whole head crush your skull 
But they're monitoring cans. They've got to block out sound. That's what they're for. I wouldn't call... The pads are huge. These are huge. It's a huge, deep opening. This is like HD 700 size. If it was a slightly different shape, it would compete directly with the bigness and going over your ear. So if you're a big ear person, my, I have big ears, and my ears just, just the edge touches the depth. And look at that. It's just straight down, like a soup bowl or a jock strap. Yes, those are the two things that came to mind. So are they comfortable? If the clamp was less, I'd say these are really comfortable. But the clamp isn't less. The clamp will never be less. I don't know what this material... This is the same material on the 280 Pros. It's like... I don't know. I don't know if I like it. This is definitely a sweaty material. So it's comfy if you don't sweat and you can take the clamp. They're certainly big. That's... That's a big... That is a big one. I should get my 600s and compare. All this should crap. Good girl. My 600s are sitting amongst the rest of the plebeian headphones. Plebeians! Oh yeah, you can definitely see how big that opening is. Fuck is the light. Depth is actually similar, but it's just wow opening. I wonder if we can get these pads on the 600s. Probably wouldn't be a benefit. These are getting dusty. Let me just remind myself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, you know what? I think a felt pad mod on these would be really an improvement. Because you don't need them to be that closed off, and they are. So base is good. High end is a bit in your face. Mid range is, is even. It's got a pretty. I won't say it's got great sound stage, but it has some. There's some sound stage in it. I don't know how that's even doable, considering how flat and close these are. But in overall, just reversing my previous review, which I now have to find go back and link to this one where I say these are actually pretty good. Oh, and let's, let's talk about the wire a little, just a little bit more because it's, it's a spiral. It's a very, very long coiled cable. Three and a half millimeter with a screw on. So I can't knock them for that too much. And actually coiled cables, I lived with a coil cable for years. So like nine years. I kind of miss my coil cables. I just wish they were, you know, compatible with everything. Which these are compatible with anything. Cause I just plug it in. Yes, 380s. Now, let's for a quick second compare to. I don't even know how much these cost anymore. I, it's been so long since I've looked them up. I'm thinking they're low 100, 100, 120, 100, under 150. So that's like. Sound Magic HP 150 money, and I think you'll like the 150s better for just sound quality. But for comfort, you got to get over that clamp. The clamp is monstrous. It's like uh, uh, you got to get a log splitter on them to get these goddamn things on your head. Like that's as far as I'd pull them apart. If you just handed me these headphones with my eyes closed, like pull them apart as far as you think they should go. That's it. Any more than that feels like I'm stressing things. And no one's head is that size. So you're stressing things. Expand it all the way out. Let's see. Nope. Still not big enough. It just feels like things want to break on these. Like they're not designed to last forever. That's what you get. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These. These Sound Magic HP 150s step up into the uh, 770 biodynamics, which are not as neutral, but poor, poor, for an experience. Good. Fix that mistake. 